Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from LunchboxSessions.com. Have you ever seen the diamond shape with the four check valves as shown in the middle of this schematic? That's a flow rectifier. But before we zoom in and study it more closely, observe that our pump and directional control valve are feeding fluid from the bottom of the schematic and notice that our cylinders that are doing the lifting are at the top of the schematic. Now let's zoom in. While not common, the flow rectifier does show up from time to time on the schematics for older machinery. And this is a fun design element to analyze. Notice that fluid enters the rectifier from the 6 o'clock position and is directed towards the left-hand port of our flow control. This is what is happening while the cylinder is extending, providing a meter-in flow control to fluid entering the base end of the cylinder. When the directional valve currently out of view is set for retraction, fluid returning to the flow rectifier from the now retracting cylinders is still directed to the left inlet port of the flow control. This clever arrangement allows one flow control valve to be used to both meter in fluid during cylinder extension, as shown now, and the same valve is then used to meter out flow control, fluid returning from the cylinder while the cylinder is retracting. Meter in and meter out flow control being used together on the base and port of a vertically oriented cylinder. For more information on meter in and meter out being used together, see our video using meter in and meter out together part one. That's all for this time. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.